Now, looking at a fibula, here we have, uh, it's a bit tricky to tell what's what at first glance. This is the head of the fibula up this end, and it's a little bit more compact than the, the uh, lateral malleolus. The lateral malleolus is a little bit more kind of elongated, yeah, a um, bit more kind of stretched out, whereas the head a little bit kind of shorter, more compact. Now, the, the way you can tell which way it's facing, though, is we have a facet up here on the head that's going to articulate with that facet on the tibia, on the posterior aspect of the lateral condyle. And then there is also another facet down here on the malleolus. Now, that's going to articulate with the talus, not with the tibia. We have a roughened patch here that's going to be where the, um, the fibular notch on the tibia joins. And of course, there's a ligament, an interosseous ligament that joins in there. That's why that's a roughened patch rather than being a nice, smooth, articular surface covered with cartilage. So what that tells us, though, is that this must be the medial aspect. And so on the medial aspect, pointing towards the tibia, we have um, an interosseous border. So you could tell me, hopefully, if there's just a fibula sitting on the bench, you could tell me head, interosseous border, lateral malleolus. Okay, I would expect that you could do that. However, I, I don't think I would expect you to be able to tell me, just if there's only a fibula, that this is the anterior border. I know it is because I had the, the matching tibia a minute ago and I held this up next to it and went, oh yeah, there it is, that's the anterior border. And then this one is the posterior border. So yes, they're features that are on your list, but if I wanted you to identify those, I would put the tibia next to the fibula, okay? So that you can see which is anterior and posterior. So, but I would expect you head, to be able to do head, malleolus, interosseous border. Now then the other structures that we need that are related to the fibula that we need to be able to identify. Firstly, if we look at a knee joint, and here we've got the posterior view of a knee joint with femur, tibia and fibula. Here we've got the posterior ligament of the fibula head. So that's the posterior ligament, and you can see it attaching to the head of the fibula there. And then we've got, as you'd probably expect on an anterior view, we've got the anterior ligament of the fibula head there. So they're not part of the knee joint, but they're part of the joint that's connecting the head of the fibula to the uh, lateral condyle of the tibia there. And then the only other one, if we look at a foot here with ligaments in place, we can see in between the tibia and fibula part of the interosseous membrane there.